What is that? White House is coming out live. My fellow Americans, this is a momentous occasion. It is profoundly moving to know there is intelligent life out there. Alien life. And our world will never feel quite the same again. Once you believe. Martians. Please come to Earth, please. Trust me, lady, that's the last thing you want to happen. Hey everyone, Brandon here, and today I'm going to review a sci-fi movie that's ten times better than that remake to the day there stood still. This is my review on Mars Attacks. Now, Mars Attacks is probably one of the first sci-fi films I ever saw in my life. I mean, most people say that the first sci-fi film they seen are E.T., Alien, Predator, but this was mine, and it's directed by one of my favorite directors, Tim Burton. Now, the story starts off when the United States picks up that flying saucers are surrounding the Earth. And so they go and tell the president, surprisingly played by Jack Nicholson. But the movie then takes a weird turn because we go to different viewpoints of different protagonists, including a heavy world class champion that lives in Las Vegas, his two sons that live in the Bronx, and this lonely guy who lives in a trailer park. And so, but the main focus of the film focuses on the president and the meeting with the Martians. So when the Martians come to Earth, they believe that they're here for peace. But we all know they have much different things on their mind. And so what do they do? To try to take over the world. So now with several characters introduced, will they be able to survive this ongoing onslaught? Or will they be killed by things that are far more advanced than they are? To start off, I would just like to say that this movie has an all-star cast. I mean, look who you have. You have Jack Nicholson, Glenn Close, Sarah Jessica Parker, Michael J. Fox, Jack Black, Danny DeVito, Martin Short, Pierce Bronsman. I mean, even Tom Jones makes an appearance as himself. And they all perform really well in this film. Now, with an all-star cast, you would think that this would be a spectacular film. And it is. I mean, Mars Tax is a really good film. Now, this is obviously a homage, or whatever you want to call it, to, those, to the many sci-fi films you would see back in the 1950s. But it's giving a more modern look. Even though this movie uses today's special effects, it's giving to look like it, those were special effects done in the 50s. I mean... The ships, look at them, they look like the ones from Plan 9 from Outer Space, and we all know that that movie was... God. This movie has a very bizarre sense of humor, and to be completely honest, some of the things I saw in this movie scared the crap out of me when I was a little kid. But it's things that this movie shows that really makes most of its scenes very memorable. For instance, when is the next time you're ever going to see a woman's head grafted onto the body of a chihuahua? It sounds messed up, I know. But I think one of my favorite scenes has to be that when um, Tom Jones is performing one of his songs and the lights go out. And when the lights come back on, the backup dancers are dead and the Martians are dancing in the background. It's like, Jesus Christ. That, that was hilarious. I can't really think of anything to say negatively about this film. I mean, people have said over and over again that Mars Attacks isn't exactly one of Tim Burton's best films. But I have to disagree with them. I think it's really good. But I will say that it isn't as colorful or as dark as some of his other films. I mean, it's more on the lines of a lot of destruction. But I will say this. This is not a film that should be taken seriously. I mean, I've said that before about some other films, but this is a film that you really should not take seriously. I, even the film itself doesn't take itself seriously. Just because Jack Nicholson is in it doesn't automatically mean that this film is going to get nominated for an Academy Award. This isn't a film that's trying to be Oscar-worthy at all. It's just a simple sci-fi action comedy. Nothing more, nothing less. It's very entertaining, with a lot of CGI and a lot of special effects. In the end, if you're looking for a movie that takes the sci-fi genre seriously, don't watch this film. But if you're looking for something that's really, really entertaining, check Mars Attacks out. You won't be disappointed. And... As long as you can actually put up with probably the most annoying way that an alien can talk. I mean, seriously, what the hell are these Martians even saying? Well, with that, I would just like to thank you all for watching this review. I'd like to thank Ibanez930, or Miles, for the request. And I apologize if you wanted this to be, you know, more in-depth. But I can't really find much else to say about it. So, again, if you want more detail then, I apologize. And with that, I guess I'll see you all next time. Attacks. Why can't we all just get along?